With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The electric field of plane electromagnetic wave is given by E vector is equal to E naught I k cos k z cos omega t. The corresponding magnetic field is then given by. So out of four options, we have to select which one is correct. So in equation of electric field, E naught is the magnitude of electric field. I k is representing the direction of vibration of electric field. So the electric field vibration are in uh, x direction means I k is representing vibration cos k z. Here z is representing the direction in which energy is traveling. So in that question energy is traveling in z direction and vibration of electric field are in x direction. So as we know that the vibration of electric field and the magnetic field both are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to vibration of sorry also perpendicular to direction of energy so if we assume that that is the direction of energy and that is electric field so that will be direction of magnetic field the relation between electric field magnetic field and direction of energy is given as E cap cross B cap that should be equal to N cap. Okay, so that is the relation of electromagnetic wave. So in question, vibration of electric field are given in x direction. So that is I cap cross B cap. That is the direction in which magnetic field is vibrating. N cap direction of energy that is z so we will put k k so from the vector application we know that the i k j k n k k so cross product of i and j gives us k k so the relation is i k cross j cap is equal to k cap so we can uh, see that the vibration of magnetic field will be in y direction okay so option d is already wrong because uh, in option d vibration of magnetic field is in j direction so out of three option we have to choose which one is correct we will use maxwell equations Maxwell's equation according to that equation gradient of electric field will be equal to minus db over dt sorry uh, here we will write del partial differentiation of b with respect to time t so here gradient we uh, we will find uh, according to direction in which energy is traveling so we will write is del e over del z is equal to minus del b over del t okay so relation of electric field is given so we we will find <coughs> gradient of electric field with respect to z and we will put that uh, relation in equation 2 okay so del e over del z is equal to So partial differentiation of equation del over del z the equation is e naught cos k z cos omega t okay see e naught and cos omega t will be considered as constant and uh, differentiation of cos kz will be k minus sine kz so the relation is 
e note minus e note k sin k z cos omega t okay from equation 1 we will put that value in equation 2 and we will get del b or del t minus is equal to minus e naught k sin k z cos omega t okay so b will be equal to c uh, minus sign will be eliminate with the minus sign and uh, e naught k are constant and when we integrate that equation with respect to time sine kz also consider as constant so we will integrate cos omega t with respect to time t okay so e naught k sine kz and integration of cos omega t will be sin omega t upon omega so the relation of magnetic field will be e naught k over omega sin kz sin omega t as we know that the uh, omega over k is equal to velocity of light c so we will get final answer b is equal to e naught over c sin kz sin omega t and the direction of magnetic vibration is in uh, uh, y direction so we will write it uh, here j k so the final answer is that okay so let's see option which one is correct so here option a option a is correct okay for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today